Hello again. Cities across the country are speaking out against the plan for Major League Baseball to restructure the minor leagues. It would shut down some teams. Yeah, in fact, one of those cities is Clinton, whose Lumber Kings face being cut from a Major League affiliation. Fox 18's Chase Davis joining us live right now in the newsroom with what Clinton's new mayor plans to do to save baseball in his city. Chase? Jim and Ann, several mayors of towns with minor league teams targeted for contraction have formed a coalition to try to convince Major League Baseball not to follow through with those plans. New Clinton Mayor Scott Madison says keeping the Lumber Kings is one of his top priorities. It's important. It's a huge part of our community. It's a huge part of our identity uh, on the riverfront down here. And, and I'm going to fight as hard as I can to make sure that our team stays here. Scott Madison says he's joining the mayor's task force to save minor league baseball to keep Clinton's economy healthy. Uh, having the players here and the, the other teams coming in uh, is it, a huge boost to our economy uh, when it comes to restaurants and hotels and, and a lot of other things. Uh, this club employs probably part-time anywhere between 80 to 100 part-time people, not all at the same time, but they're going to become future laborers in this market. They're going to become something other and this is good training for them. They're dealing with the public on a daily basis. Lumber Kings general manager Ted Torno says he's been in contact with the Miami Marlins, their major league affiliate on the issue. I talked to the farm director this morning and he told me flat out, he goes, Teddy, I don't know anything. All I know is it's out there. All I know is it's, it's getting ugly. And all I know is they haven't told me anything more than the, the expiration is at the end of September and there might be some changes in the process. Madison says he grew up with the Lumber Kings and he hopes that he can help the team stay for the next generation. In Iowa, we don't have any professional sports in the, in the top leagues, so I think having teams like the Lumber Kings and, and the River Bandits and, and, and the rest of them that are in our communities, uh, they give kids a chance to, to kind of reach out to, to professional baseball and let them dream a little bit about, uh, about becoming a professional baseball player. I reached out to Major League Baseball today also, but they were unable to comment. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Chase Davis for Fox 18 News.